Hi everyone, today we're gonna work on uh, PowerShell. Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Dans cette leçon, nous allons donc voir ensemble comment utiliser le PowerShell. Mbote na bandego nyo subo za ulananga, lelo na ko partage na bino, nenge ni tu utiliza ka PowerShell. Alo, ndela baka subo za mituna, oti ndela nga yango. Alo, toko kende na biso, na ko sala wana ba video mwe bele. Na na ba machine mwe bele. Guys, so I'm gonna use different machine. So, um... Yeah, so you're gonna see me using Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, because I, I want you guys to see, okay, and to learn from there. Please watch the lecture first before you can watch this one, okay? So, um, yeah. So everything I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my virtual machine, okay? So it's gonna be right here. I'm gonna use one. This one is my Windows 10 virtual machine, okay? So I'm gonna use just want to show you guys okay i'm going to use this one so so i'm just going to put my password and then after that i'm going to start yeah so we're gonna walk uh, walk here so the first thing we're gonna do okay because we're gonna run our powershell okay so here you can find the powershell right here okay so this one is window this one is Windows 10, okay? So PowerShell, it's inside of this, okay? So, um, yeah, so... So, when you are here, okay? When you are here, you go right here, you click there, okay? So when you click there, you're gonna go to... Uh, this one is Windows 10, okay? On Windows 10, when you go, you click here, okay? You click right there. And then from here, you're gonna go to, uh, to, uh, oh, well, the way to design Windows 10 is different than Windows 7 or 8. So we're gonna go to a little bit down, okay? So you see here, we have a Windows PowerShell, all right? So you go here, you're gonna click right here. You click here. Here, you're gonna go to window powershell okay and then right click on it so if you right click you wanna run it as a, a dim mm -mm, just click you click on it and then you're gonna see the screen is gonna come here okay so be patient so so you're gonna see the screen like this okay so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay you're gonna see something like this all right so the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna tap something is called transcripts. Okay, so we're gonna tap this. Okay, so and then we're gonna write a tran transcript. Okay, so so when you tap that and then enter. Okay, so. What I'm trying to do here is when everything we're gonna do here, the command, it's gonna go to, you know, like when you're in high school or university, or let's say college or university, at the end of the year, they give you your transcript, right? To see how you did all those kind of stuff, right? So you're gonna see here, everything we're gonna write, it's gonna go to our transcript. Okay, so to find out where our transcript is located, you're gonna see we have a document here. So we have C drive, uh, user, uh, this is the name of the computer, the PC, document, and then our PowerShell. So, so to do that, our PowerShell, I mean our document is right here. So we're gonna go to our document and I'm gonna show you where everything is gonna be when we tap it. So our document is right here, okay? So when we click on it, you see, this is our transcripts. When we double click on it, nothing is there yet. You see, we got some type of formation here, all those kind of stuff, right? We have it right here, right here, okay? So everything I'm gonna type, it's gonna be right here, okay? Everything I'm gonna type, it's gonna be right there. So for now, for now, what I have to do, 
um, when I start typing, we're gonna see what we're gonna get there, okay? So, yeah. So I'm just gonna close this. And now I'm gonna type some command and then you got you guys are gonna see the reaction, okay? So let's see. Get uh yeah. Get a uh, host. Okay. Oh, sorry. So when I type this and then enter so you're gonna see the result we're gonna get so we have like a lot of writing there a lot of stuff there but we don't know exactly like what why do we need this why do we care about this i'm gonna explain to you guys later, later on why do you need to work like what the benefits of knowing this and what do you need to know this or what reason you should know this okay so uh let me clean the, let me to stop this just uh, uh we're gonna go here let's see so to stop that you have to hold control and c okay and then to clean it just like this and then you're gonna clean it so let's say we wanna uh, let's see Google. Let's say we wanna go on Google. And here. Okay. Now enter. So for us to see what's going on. On the Google, Google to get that information, we need to open the um, notepad and, and then we're gonna paste it there. So, so to do that, that you can just write here notepad, okay? Note when, when you type that, this is the notepad, okay? You open it, you click on it, gonna open it. Now we're gonna paste it, just right click here and paste it. This is the information from. The one, the one we, we got, got from, from uh, Note, uh, we, we got, got from Google. Google. So if, if you take a look, this is the IP address of Google. This is, is the one, okay? That's, that's the one we get it. So in case you don't get it, I can get the IP address, ping it for you guys to see it. So this is the IP address I'm talking about, okay? And that's the Google IP address. So this is a Google IP address. So what I can do, uh, I can just go down a little bit here. So I'm gonna go back here, okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna ping it, okay. Now I'm gonna put Google IP address. So I'm gonna put one, four, two, two, five, one, two, five, two, five, one, and we're gonna. I'm gonna put. Uh, for one and two, six. Okay, and then make sure you write that and divide this. Okay, and then enter. We're gonna get the same result. So I'm gonna go to uh, to a notepad and paste it there. Okay, so this is the notepad. I'm gonna paste it right there. Right click and paste it right there right there okay so i, I want to show you guys in case you are undergraduate student or you're in a high school and you guys try to learn this i want to show you how it works now we're gonna go to transcript you're gonna see everything i'm writing here you're gonna see it right there okay so i'm gonna leave this the way it is we're gonna go to here Okay, we're gonna go here and then we're gonna click on, we're gonna click right here, okay? So when you take a look, if all the command we write is right here, right there. You see the command I just tapped? It's right here, right here. And 
Here yeah, the command I have, I have is right there. You, you can, can see it. it. Okay? okay? So, I'm gonna close it. And then I'm gonna close it. So, now, let me clean this. Okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys a different command. Okay? So, now, we're gonna use this command. Okay? Okay, this is the one. So, so you, you can, can see, see there's a lot of, a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, Writing there a lot, a lot, but we don't know, you know, what's going on there. Why do we have all this? Don't worry, because it's a pre course, so I don't want to give you guys too much for now. It's okay. Now, let's uh, let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, let us clean this. So, we're just gonna clean it and then let's try this. Uh, let's uh, date. Let's see what's going on with the date. That's, That's the date. The, the time is right there. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's uh, clean. Up. Let us clean. Okay. If you try like this here. So let's see. Um, get. Let's get. Let's say you want um. Help uh, get uh, okay this one. So, so in, in some, some situation, situation you, you can, can see the, the you wanna know like the, the what is the verb, the noun, and you, you need, need some help. It's gonna help you. you. Okay, so because here. In, in some, some situation, situation you're gonna, gonna see we have, have a noun, we have, have a verb, and we have a noun. But I don't wanna give you guys a lot right now. No, I don't want that. Okay? So um let's see. Let's uh get uh command verb. Okay. There's a mistake there, so so when you type, make sure that you tap them right. You see here when I type them, there's a mistake on it. So make sure when you type, you type them right. Okay? So because you can see so for example let's say uh, I'm gonna show you guys in the other one because sometimes when you don't type them correctly alright you're gonna get the error there there's mm, like the mistake there because when you type them type them the way it is okay so so you can see we got uh, a lot of a lot of formation here all right so now if we go back and let's see let's go back here let me clean the clean the I'm gonna clean this one clear this if I go back and let's say for example I'm gonna rid of this I'm gonna rid of this one all right I'm just gonna type noun okay and then let's say i type men okay i type that and make sure i put that and then enter okay so 
like I said, everything I'm typing here, you're gonna see it on when we go here, okay? The transcripts, everything is gonna gonna be there. It's it's here inside here, okay? So when you click here, everything we are doing, it's inside there. In case you wanna know the command you tap, all those, uh, it's right here inside, okay? All the stuff I type is right here. Everything, everything I type is right here, inside, okay? It's right there inside. Everything is right here, okay? So. If I go back a little bit, the command I just, uh, the one I just tap, okay? So if I go back, I'm just gonna tap the same command. Okay, this command. So this command I'm talking about, enter. You're gonna see, you're gonna see here, So you're gonna see in the top here it say window PowerShell, but it doesn't really say I dim window PowerShell. No, it doesn't. Uh, we cannot see that. But on my the other video, because since this one is a pre-course, all right. The next one I'm gonna show you guys, uh, because we need to see the definition if it's a noun, if it's gonna if it's like it give us a name and the definition. So. On the other video, I mean the other courses, I'm gonna do more advanced video for you guys to see it. Okay, so um, yeah, so um, you can also uh, create a directory. If uh, here, you can create a directory too if you want to. So, um, oops. Yeah, so uh, let's say, for example, uh, let's see. Let's say you want to create a directory called uh, Ontario Canada, something like that. So the same command we use on uh, Linux, you can use it here, okay? So you can also create a directory here, okay? Let's see, for example, let's see, cd. Uh, so we can create the directory. So let's say... Uh, we want to create a directory we're gonna call this um let's see let's make a, call this uh hamilton for example let's see So make sure you write them like that, okay? And then enter. So we just create a directory called Hamilton. It's right here, right there. Now we're gonna create another one, okay? We're gonna create another one. We're gonna call this uh, Burlington. Burlington, okay? Enter. We'll create another one. Now we're gonna create another one called, uh, we're gonna call this uh, Toronto. Okay? So, so just enter. So you're gonna see. We create the, let's see. So when we go to, uh, we go to, uh, let's see, when we go here, we go right here, we're gonna see it. When we go to, to see that, we have to go to the CD, the local drive to see that because it's right there. So we're gonna go here, let's see right here okay so yeah we're gonna go right here it's not here it's here 
So yeah, so to see that, so to see this, this uh, uh, directory we created, we have to go here. We go right here, and from here we're gonna go to the user. When we go to the user, we're gonna go here inside. We click here, and we're gonna see we have Hamilton is right here. We have Toronto is right here. We have a Burlington is right here. But if I want to, I can also just put them to document. But for today, I just want to show you guys how to do it here, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys on Windows 7, okay? So, um, yeah. So, when you guys take a look, you see on top here, it just say Windows PowerShell, right? The next video, when we do together, is not going to be Windows PowerShell like, like this. No, it has to be a dim Windows PowerShell. Okay, and top here, here on the top, you see here on the top, it's writing here, window PowerShell. But the next video I'm going to do with you guys has to be a dim window PowerShell, okay? So we're going to, I'm going to use window 7, okay? So this one is window 7. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but watch, you guys need to watch. When we go here... Okay, we go there, and then we're gonna go to all. Okay, from all we're gonna go right here. From there we're gonna go to you see here, PowerShell is right here, right? When we click on it, you're gonna see we have a uh, um, different type of we have a different one here. Now you see this one, right click on it. Okay, when you right click, you take a look here. You don't really see uh, uh, what what I what, what I'm trying to say. We, when you click here, right click on it, okay? And then you're gonna run it as a dim. But if you just click on this, okay? You click on this one, you see, this is what we got, right? So, when you look at it here, it say window PowerShell, right? We don't want that. We want the ones when you click on, you click on it, it's gonna write in, I dim window PowerShell, so I'm gonna close this, okay? Now, I'm gonna go here, right there, I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna go a little bit down here, click here, and then, this is where it's writing uh, window PowerShell, okay? We have a different type here, you can click here, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna get the result after, you can see it, right? Now, because I want to show you guys, we have to see how it look like. So we're going to go back again. We're going to go the same place. We're going to go here, and we're going to click on here. Because I want you guys to see before we start uh, working on that. You see, this is what we got. And we're going to come here. We're going to go the same place. We're going to go right there. We're going to go right here. We're going to click on this one. Okay? So... This is what we got. Now, when we go here, we go right here. We're going to go right there. We're going to go right here. You click on it. Now, you see here, right click. Right click on it. Right click. And then you're going to go run as a dim. Don't know. Click it out. 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 I'll hear our click it out. over me window power shell. Right click. Usually, book on your cat cat to click in a story now. Our right click on it. I post your plus back me run as a dim. You click on it. Okay. And you click yes. Now you see on the top a dim window power shell. So when you take a look the other video I did, you can see on the top of it I was talking about a dim. Right? So we didn't have it. So the first thing we're gonna do right now, we're gonna type start transcript. Okay? So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So everything we're gonna do, it's gonna be here inside of this uh, system 32 when you take a look. Up, but I'm gonna show you guys after. So, um, yeah, so start and start uh, transcripts. That's the first thing we're gonna do, okay? Yeah, so 
that's why. Oh. Start transcript. Okay, that's the one. Enter. Oh, whoops, sorry. Oops, sorry, we're just gonna clean this. Clear this, so start. Okay, trans. Trans. Crypt. Okay, so you, that's the first thing we're gonna do here and enter. That's what we need to do right now. So, what we what do we have to do here now when we go here we go right there we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go to uh yeah so i just want to show you guys around first whatever we're gonna do that I'm gonna stay that transcripts it's gonna be here document okay so when we go here okay we go to document the transcripts is right here okay so we're gonna close that. Let's say, um, so we're gonna do the same thing we did, okay? So we're gonna go to, we're gonna type, uh, uh, let's say, it, that, this time they type uh, Yahoo, uh, that's yeah, or that come, okay? And then, so, let's see so we're just gonna ping that enter so whatever we right now this is what we got right so when we go here we're gonna go to here transcripts so you see yao is right there the one we just ping it's right there right there okay it's right there so we're just gonna close it. So, so we're just gonna clear this. We're gonna type date. That's the Sunday, November. This is the time I'm doing it, okay? So, this is the command we're gonna type here, okay? Get post. That's right there the user the name everything is right here okay so let's clear this uh get uh, let's see for example if, if I, I go, go ping, ping right www google right dot com and this, this one is Windows 7, it's not Windows 8. And then let's see, I go like this, okay? And then enter, okay? So Windows 7 is not Windows 8, all right? So if I go right here, and then I, I go to, uh, I just type uh, note, pad, okay? I mean, uh, sorry. This, this is the one, okay? okay. You click on it. Now, now we're, we're gonna, gonna paste, paste it, okay? Yeah. Right, right click here, here and paste it. it. The information is right there. Right there. This, this is the IP address of Google, Google. okay? So if, if we, we get, get the IP address, address okay? okay? And then we're gonna Google it. And we're gonna, we're gonna get the same result. So let's see. If, if I go there, there, I go ping, okay? okay. Uh, one, four. One for one, uh, two, five, one, four, one, thirty six, and then clip, enter, and then the same thing we're gonna get. So, we, so we're gonna go to, um, so same result, right? We're gonna go here. And then I'm gonna paste the notepad, paste it there, same thing. You see? So yeah. We don't have I don't have to save this. Now I'm gonna clear that. Now we're gonna I'm gonna use a different command here to show you guys around, alright? So if we type uh, get 
again and more so you see we got uh, the name the definition is right there but when you take a look on window window 10 when we did that you didn't see this like this you didn't see the, the information well you see some of the information but you didn't really see here what was going on because what happened I didn't run it as a dim you see so I want to show you guys the differences okay so the next command it's gonna be a little bit so we are just gonna to get out here you see this one you can just write a uh, whole control and C you're gonna get out there okay so now if we type uh, get okay and then more that's what we're gonna get all right so you may some of you may say what the benefits of knowing this all this you can see here in on on top here the writing here right for now since it's like a pre-course you're not gonna understand that well okay so it's okay it's okay so we're just gonna clear this and we're gonna get uh we're gonna use the other command it's this one Okay, so in case you know you wanna know, uh, you know like in English we have the verb, the, the vocabulary, all those kind of stuff. So in computer also we have something like that. All right, you're gonna hear this a lot when you study programming. Okay, so all right, so we're just gonna use this command. Okay. Now you see we have the command, okay, and we got uh, the name. After the name, we got the definition. Please watch my uh, the other video first. All right, watch the lecture. After that, you watch this one. Okay. So when you take a look, we have the the name, the definition. For example, in this case, you see this one. The definition for for that is right there. Okay. So um right now you know it's look like kind of fuzzy but it's okay it's okay don't panic okay so we are just gonna clear this all right so um we're gonna use the same command and this time we're gonna use uh, instead of verb we're gonna use a noun okay and let's say noun noun let's see it put something like this for example yeah for now we're just gonna put something like this okay we may end up getting like the error but it's okay so for example you look at that you see we got uh, add member and the definition is right there add member this this at the end so yeah and then uh, when you take a look you watch the other video uh, I mean when you watch uh, the part the part the one I did for window 10 is a little bit different so let's say for example here I read of this I say put man for example I put like this all right I put like this enter and so for example if I go here and then I open uh, the notepad for example right they say the notepad this one I come here, right click, paste it, nothing really. I got the same uh, information for Google. All right, so I just wanna show you guys the differences, okay? That way you know what's going on. And the next one, so when you take a look, if I go back a little bit, I go back, you see this. This one, if I go enter, 
right so what happening i'm gonna go back here sorry guys i'm gonna go back here a little bit when i go here on transcripts we take a look what happening is this man this name i have a, a noun okay so the noun start with for example member member when you write a member you start with m e m and then b e r members right yes so for uh because since this one is not uh, 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 it's not this, I'm gonna show you guys this one. All right, CMD. Okay, there's a big differences between this and the PowerShell. I'm gonna show you guys. This one is different. This is the PowerShell. This one is completely different. All right, this is not the PowerShell. This is like um, it's like what um, you know when you use DOS command. Right, so this and this is not the same thing, okay? So, I just want you guys to know that. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we type uh, get get uh, command and verb. Enter. So you can see we got the noun, we got the definition, and we got the list here. Okay. So in case if you don't get it, it's okay. I just wanna review them a little bit because I really did them. I just want to show you guys. Okay. So we can also create a directory here. We're gonna create it. So let's say for example we wanna create a directory. Let's clear this. Let's create a directory. Make a directory. Let's call this uh, London. Okay. This is the directory we created. It's called London. Let's create another one. We're gonna call this. Uh, let's call this Encaster. Something like that. Or. Let, oh, let's call this uh, Toronto. It's right there. Let's you know, let's make another one called Montreal. Right there, we create that. So to see that, I'm gonna show you guys where we can go and. See. So to see this is located to uh, System 22. If we go here, we go right here. It's not there. When we click here. We take a look in our transcripts. This is what we got. Montreal is right here. Toronto is right there. London is right there. But we want to see this. You can see the time we create this, right? Now, I'm going to close this. I'm going to show you guys where it's located because we want to see where is it. So we're going to go right here. We're going to go right there. Okay. We're going to go right there. We're going to go to here, local disk. We're gonna go to window. We're gonna go to uh, system 22. We're gonna go to uh, uh, sorry. We're gonna go to uh, sorry. We're gonna go to system. Oh, sorry. It's in uh, yeah. So yeah. So so it's in the system 22. When we click on that, you're gonna see it. It's here, but it's not really like the way. It's not in a, like the way I put them is not that good. So I can also put them instead of sending them here. I can put them in document. I can put them on um, download if I want to. So the one we just created, it's right here. You see, this is the time I created, and Montreal is right here. And if you look at uh, London, it must be somewhere. It's just here. Okay, so they're right here, right here. Okay, so whatever we created, I mean the directory we created, 
it's right here so montreal is right there montreal is right here london is right there okay so if we want to let's see uh, yeah so that's how that's how we create the directory here all right but i'm gonna go with you guys step by step this one is a pre course it's not like you know academic one no, no it's a beginning so if you have no knowledge this is the right one for you okay so um i'm gonna stop here for today so thank you so much you guys take care bye bye